Good afternoon, pot pickers. How are we? I hope everybody is well. So, um, packaged, eagerly awaited. Um, this is the kit packs from GQ Tobaccos. Um, as I mentioned previously in one of my other videos, GQ Tobaccos have now started to release some of the old Glyn Quelch blends, um, but in kit form. So. I'm going to get them out so you just save time so you can see what I'm talking about. So, I ordered a few. They've got five available at the moment. I've ordered four out of the five. This is chocolate and vanilla. And we have some Asquith mixture, mix, and swamp flour. Now, swamp flour, I think I ordered two of. No, I've got two of Asquith mixture, probably because that's a vapour. So, let's just uh, open up the Asquith mix. All fingers and thumbs today. Come on. Okay, so what we have is mixing tobacco number one, number two, and number three. Let's have a look. the website all you do is chuck it all into a bowl mix it and mix it again and then mix it some more and that's it so I'm gonna do that actually first what I want to do is this doesn't feel like a double pack and this should total a hundred grams this is two packs might be wrong In fact, this one certainly does feel a bit more, to be honest. That's 38. 63. Well, that looks like one thing to me. All right, well, that may just be an error, or there's another package in the post, so we shall see. Anyway. So this is number one. Quite a fruity aroma. It's also got a. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of Kentucky or something in there. It's got some kind of spiciness to it. A little bit of earthy, mushroomy kind of uh, aroma to it. And and stewed fruit. Okay, so that's one. Number two. is a very bright I'm going to assume it's Virginia's lemon Virginia's or something like that let me just get their website up so we can see what they say GQ tobacco pipe tobacco GQ blends Well, the Asquith is gone already, looks like. I can't see, oh, there it is. Product description. So, this is one of the biggest selling GQ blends, blah, blah, blah. So, it's a Virginia Perique. So, it's a blend of light Virginias with a small helping of Perique. And there's also some steamed Virginia with 20% Perique. Okay. 
that's number one, that's number two, and this is number three. This one is, um, I'm going to hazard a guess and say this is the steamed Virginia with 20% perique. That's very fragrant. Okay, so it's quite moist actually. This last one is the, uh, again, it's really moist. I'm going to assume this is the steamed. Virginia with 20% perique, uh, and the light one was with 5% perique, and the main component, number one, I'm just going to assume was a hefty dose of good quality Virginias. Looked like it had a multi um, different types of Virginia in there. really interesting aroma it's got the stewed fruit it's got that perique is almost overtaking the the Virginia aroma it's a really pungent perique but it's the pungency of the Virginias together with the perique which is really creating that uh, unique pungency it's got an interest really interesting aroma And I can see why this stuff would do well, just le being left to marry for a couple of weeks, which is what is advised. But what I might do is just allow one bolt to sit out, dry a bit, try it, so that I can make a comparison in a week or two's time. Right, these should fit very nicely into into these um, preservative jars. These are the small ball mason jars, but that's just about the right size. So I'm going to put a little bit out to try. I've got to say, based on the aroma, I'm really quite excited about that. So we'll leave that one there. And being there, that is a fairly small container, and I'm forcing it in will have a fair bit of pressure, which is good. And it needs a fair bit of elbow grease to get it all into the tin, into the jar. Okay, we'll close it up. Just going to make sure that there's no bits of tobacco on the edges. Otherwise that can affect the seal. Asquith 18 
six, eighteen. Number one. Next, just clean this out. And I should say as well, the the main, the first component, it looked like it was quite well aged as well because there was. It looked to me like the beginnings of a fair bit of sugar crystals forming on there. So I fully expect that the components that that are being used are very well sourced. Right, next one is uh, swamp flower. Now, swamp flower. Let's see what it says about that one. So, this is based on the second tobacco Glyn ever produced and marked the start of his obsession with Perique. The version sold by GQ Tobaccos was a variation of that first take, made for a member of the House of Lords. He was requested to take this base tobacco and add more of a woodsy smoky backing with a light floral top note. After a few reblends, Glynn and his lordship had created the Swamp Flower, a Kentucky based blend mixed Virginias and Perique, 16% Perique, so that's quite a lot of Perique. The tobacco packs a punch, which slowly builds throughout the bowl and remains cool and smooth to taste. I'm going to say that this is going to be something like Mississippi River on steroids. That's my gut feeling. I don't remember it. I'm not sure if I had it originally when these uh, blends were out, um, but that's my gut instinct. I've got quite a number of uh, ingredients here. So... One, two, three, four, five ingredients. So, ingredient number one. Okay, that's sort of a, a brighter kind of Virginia. And it certainly does seem to have a bit of an aromatic floral essence in there. That's got a Lakelandy kind of aroma to it. It's not really pungent, but it's definitely there and it's definitely floral. Right, number two. Now I think these are numbered in terms of uh, amount of tobacco. So, so that first one being the greater, this one being slightly less by the looks of it. I guess and say this is Kentucky. A bit earthy as well in that. So maybe there's some Latakia in that one as well. Number three. A bit smoky, a bit earthy, a bit woodsy. I think this is going to be Perique. This is that same stuff that we had in the first blend. So that's going to be possibly the 16% Perique. And you can see that dark, that darkness there. That's actually really, really good quality Perique there to me. I'm not a big expert, but it certainly feels great. It feels really, really good. It's got a great aroma, strong aroma. I thought the first one had the Lakeland, that must have been in Kentucky. This is this is the Lakeland. Oh, Granny's pants. But there's only a small amount of it, so that's good. And I think this used to be made into a cake. 
I can see why this is just a slight topping of um, the floral note because you wouldn't want to make it into a fully fledged Lakeland and number five perhaps this is the letter key This is another type of floral um, tobacco. It's got another Lakelandy kind of aroma. If I didn't know better, I'd say these were all Samuel goers, um, the, the Lakeland ones anyway. Candles, which is where, being a Lakeland, where it wouldn't be from anyway. Okay. I think this one is going to need some really intense mixing. Possibly should have got a bigger bowl. This is very, very moist. Very, very moist indeed. And I think that you need to tear it up a bit because the first component was very clumped together. And if you're going to get a good mix, it needs a good mix. And this is wet. This is seriously soggy. clumping up into a real soggy mess. It reminds me of the, the very early cherry aromatics that I smoked when I first started, the over-the-counter stuff which is really goopy and sticky. This stuff as well, if this was made into a cake I could see how this would become so rich like a chocolate brownie oozing with all the uh, juices from these tobaccos. Um, I did try a year or two ago to get a, a good tobacco press. I never got, I, I was never successful in getting one. I know there's little spice presses that you can get which do, um, you know, a small amount, but um, Starter, Cynthia and Susan had one. They got one from uh, French Canadian something he was um, I can't remember his name no his handle but um, he made them um, and uh, but he's I asked him at the time if he'd make me one but he said he wasn't getting into that at the moment he was and he hasn't been on the YTPC since then so if anybody's got a reasonable sized press or they know where I can get one something that will do at least uh, a tins worth 50 grams worth um, I'd certainly be interested if they can point me in the right direction. I suppose I could make one with some clamps and whatnot, but I'd much rather get something which is purpose made that will do the job properly. Okay, I've recorded this in one hit, but really and truly, I should really edit it. But I've got one more to do after this, but perhaps I won't record that. Maybe I'll just open it and get the aromas and describe it to you and then call it a day because this is obviously a bit tedious and what I'm probably going to do is after a week take them out of their jars and remix it and put them back in the jars These jars are perfect size for this because having to squish so much into it, it's going to create its own pressure. Especially because it's so sopping wet, it's all kind of gluing together. 
and it should marry very very well in the jar hopefully all being well I do warn you it's very very floral even though the amount is minuscule but when you get the aroma that's the first thing you get but we'll see what it's like in the smoke so I'll just write out this label GQ swamp flower 18th of June Right, the final one. Just clean up the bowl. <coughs> Excuse me. So the last one is chocolate vanilla. Now, although it's called chocolate vanilla, 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 it's actually a crossover because it has some it has some latakia in there as well. That's number one. And um, I thought it would be a bit like Bob's chocolate. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. Oh, it smells a bit like the American style um, aromatics there. So I'm going to assume there's a lot of Cavendish in that to hold the casings. Number two. Here we go. That's Latakia. smells good and this I guess should be the chocolate Ooh. oh wow this is a oh that's like Nutella it's like hazelnut and chocolate that smells seriously good I think I'm gonna like this blend because at one stage I had I had a, a bit of a fix on, on Bob's chocolate. Um, but we'll see how this goes. All right, guys. Well, I might do first impressions of that separately. We'll see how we go. But this has been the uh, blending of the GQ tobacco kits. And you can see that's all the bags there. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to obviously report an update and you know let you know how things go. Possibly we'll try one out again on Saturday night on the live show. We'll see how we go. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.